mission accomplished. Yahoo! Yes! Finally! The final boss is over! It's time to relax and enjoy the ending while having a... Huh? What the... No! Not now! Come on! What? What is this? My dear Bot City inhabitants, it is time to put aside all other interactive entertainment offers and listen to my words. I am very pleased to announce that I have taken control of the Tamanaka Plaza building, and I'm going to make it disappear, unless... My paltry demand of 100 billion bot coins is met. However, it is my guess that those incompetent illiterate leaders and police forces you revere will not have access to my request. A shame if so, for the amount is non-negotiable. I cordially ask that you refrain from heroics. Simply pay if you wish this prestigious building to continue casting its majestic shadow. If you feel that my proposal is unjust and does not take into account your meager concerns, please declare as such to my most faithful and robotic minions, soon to be stationed in virtually every corner of this city. Do not hesitate. I guarantee you will receive the treatment you deserve. Oh, and one more thing for those of you who are fans of the theatrics. Ugh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is looking really bad. What a disaster. I couldn't even save my game. My name is Aaron Saver. I used to be a police officer. But at 28 years old, fate had other plans. Six months ago while pursuing the Wild Box, a criminal gang led by four psychotic mercenary cyborgs, I lost my partner and my right arm in a failed operation. Now, the Wild Box have been hired by a madman who intends to blow up the Tamanaka Plaza building, the most important symbol of this decadent city. But I won't let that happen. Equipped with a new versatile bionic arm, nothing will stop me from taking the law into my own hands. Even if one of them is now metal. The time for justice has passed. Today, I will get my revenge. Come on, there's no time.
stage clear. Action! You've got no way. Restricted area. What's the matter? Don't you remember me, Porky? Huh? You're not one of my girls. Looking for a job? I visit my clubs frequently. I had a job six months ago, and it's you I'm looking for now. You and the rest of your piglet wild bots. <sighs> I'm getting tired of this and angry. Who the hell are you? See this? Huh? A bionic arm. Oh, I see. It's you. Better believe it. Now, before I turn you into a jumbo breakfast order, there's one thing that intrigues me. Hundreds of your bots are keeping an eye on the Tamanaka Plaza. But you're here, far away and near the subway station. Why? Do several million bot coins answer your question? Just money? Now, you may be brainless, but I'm not. There's something more. <laughs> of course there's more. The pleasure of killing you!
stage clear.
So, the subway tunnels are important enough to have the one and only Blazing Rhino watching them. There you are. The news of Wild Pig's death spread like wildfire through our people. I'm surprised that Porkchop was killed so easily by the hands of someone who we left crippled and broken. Please, enough flattery. You're embarrassing yourself. Now listen, I've been wondering something. You could have killed me during that raid, but you didn't. Why? I'll admit, witnessing your suffering was euphoric. But you lived not because we lacked a desire or initiative to end you. We had orders. Orders? What do you mean? My partner and I took you by surprise in the warehouse. Ha! <laughs> Little naive girl, you didn't surprise anyone. So someone leaked our operation. <sighs> Why waste energy discussing your pathetic past when your present and future are far darker than a singed and skewered rat? Thanks, but I'll pass on that particular kebab. Now, why are you hiding trains with modern weapons and equipment down here? Ugh, I don't know why I even bother asking. Not like you're gonna tell me. At least, not the easy way. Nor the hard, Miss Saver. It's time to pull apart the rest of your body like we did your arm.
Demon Gun. Rocket Launcher. Stage clear. Action. Stage clear. Ah, Eden Saber. I knew that keeping you alive was a mistake. I told him. But I suppose even the most nefarious of humans occasionally show absurd signs of empathy. Nothing, of course, that some brain implants couldn't fix. Right. You know, I've already turned two of your buddies into spare parts, but I am so looking forward to making it a hat trick. Mm, a craving for revenge. And how is your partner? Did you visit him as he withered to his death while lying in a hospital bed? Shut your mouth. I couldn't even make his funeral thanks to what you did to me. You're going to pay for everything you've done. I'd be scared if you weren't so pathetic. But you are surprising, though. You, a former officer of the law, giving priority to your personal vendetta over saving the lives of your fellow citizens. Do you not plan to go to the Tominaka Plaza building? Spare me the cheap moral lesson, Rocket Lizard. I mean, literally, that's what you are. A robotic lizard with a rocket. And I'm supposed to learn morality from you? I'll stop the madman who's taken Tominaka Plaza. Don't you worry. Coming after you? Well, aside from really, really wanting to, it let me find out what you're hiding down here, which is going to help me against that lunatic in the plaza. Oh, so impressive. So very clever. But what are you going to do now? Use police brutality, as you did with my poor friends Bebop and Rocksteady? Your taste for awesome TV shows isn't going to help you. And you're forgetting one thing. I'm not a cop anymore. Stage clear.
stage clear. Action! Stage clear. Action. Stage clear. Action. He's over there. Rocket launcher. Stage clear. All right, Big Boss Clown Face. The party ends here and now. You shouldn't have come, Aaron. What? You know my name? Wow. I mean, is it too much to ask for an autograph or selfie? Oh, you're right. I should wait till after I beat you and foil your evil plan. Getting ahead of myself, sorry. Amusing. I know you better than you think, former Agent Saver, but it appears not as much as I thought. Wait for it. Here comes the evil villain monologue. Silence! I thought it was enough to leave you out cold, broken and bedridden in a hospital, to keep you away from the wild bots and what was to come. Um, are you 
stalking me? Cause that's creepy. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Wait, the raid? That doesn't make any sense. You? You leaked my operation and organized that ambush? Hmm. Technically, we could say it wasn't me, but Roy. But Roy? What the hell? He was my partner. You're crazy. He didn't betray me. He was killed by the wild bots. Oh yes, how tragic. But did you see him die? I... I blacked out when I lost my arm. Ugh. Roy, weeks before the ambush, he kept saying we should leave the case. Perhaps he was trying to save you from the rabbit hole. But alas, like Alice, you've fallen into Wonderland. You're trying to mess with my head. What connection does Roy have to an Android Revolt? That, my dear Aaron, is a question that no longer serves any purpose. For in but a few moments when the sun rises, this building will become history, and the rebellion will begin. Aw, that's cute. You still think your plan is gonna work. What? You don't expect me to just stand here and watch as you blow this whole place up, do you? I know you, Aaron. I expected nothing less from you. That was intense. Turns out the Big Bad Cojones was a cyborg. This new level of technology, a machine that is indistinguishable from human form, has some seriously messed up implications. Oh, it also had a radioactive bomb contained inside of it, ready to be activated at dawn. Naturally, I didn't let that happen. Scientists later determined that the bomb would have detonated if at the scheduled hour, it had retained a glimmer of energy. The Android Rebellion never happened. With no signal marking its beginning and having destroyed their main leaders, the whole thing was DOA. Dead on arrival. Sure, in the aftermath there were some serious altercations in Bot City, but it didn't take long for my degenerate city to return to what it called normality. What I still don't understand is that the cyborg hinted that Roy might still be alive. It accused him of betraying everything I thought he stood for. It spoke as if it knew me. I know it's impossible. There was an official funeral for Roy. One I couldn't attend because I was in hospital, but it happened. The whole department was there. It can't... Roy... 
I won't rest until I know for sure. Cyborgs be ready within a month and a half. I think you'll find these creations to be rather special. For your sake, Doctor, you'd better make sure of it. The prototypes used at Tamanaka Plaza were disappointing. I assure you, the new models will suit your requirements. I expect nothing less. Sir, what about the girl? She... You have plans to ensure she will not interfere again. That is none of your concern. It is a personal matter. 